James Paxton can get it done here tonight. He makes his third postseason start. One two pitch. Into right center. Hicks. Inning is over. Folden struck him out. And the first strikeout for Paxton tonight. Struck him out two down. This is that fastball that rides up in the zone. Struck him out. Paxton strikes out the side in the second. Two out. Well, Paxton is showing why he could be dominant. Struck him out again. Two down. And more of it. Total control. One two pitch. He got him looking. Seven strikeouts for the 30 year old left hander. Strikes him out here. Two down. And this pitch right here. Hard slider. Eight strikeouts for Paxton. Two down. This breaking ball was fantastic. And he showed a little emotion right after that. Aaron Boone is making a slow walk out there and this crowd is almost pleading with Boone to leave Paxton in. And he will. But it's familiar to what Yankee fans have seen from a big left hander this time of year. Owning the left side of the plate with fastballs and cutters is reminiscent of Andy Pettit. Torino hits it in the air to left. Back at the wall, it is caught. Wow. Torino's drives it to the wall and left. Oh, so close for the Astros. And Paxton powers through six. And not just six strong innings, Ken Rosenthal, but emotional innings for James Paxton. And he is uh, fired up tonight. Joe, we saw three separate shows of emotion from Paxton. And this is something the Mariners talked about him, talked about with him last season. Their pitching coach, Mel Stottlemyre Jr., telling me, Paxton is such a nice guy, so laid back, so quiet. They wanted him to pitch with more edge. And they talked to him about it. And after that conversation, he had a 16 strikeout game against Oakland, the no hitter against the Blue Jays. And Stottlemyre said, it's hard to teach toughness. But John, he found a way to get it out of himself.